Previously on Divinity 2, we entered Maxos's temple and were immediately greeted by the wizard, again. From there we completed a series of trials, from jumping puzzles to spot the difference, until we were allowed to pass. We were then approached by a walking corpse with a lisp, who told us her master, a necromancer, had taken over Sentinel Island. Now we must solve a seemingly endless maze to access the temple proper. Okay, so long story short, one of these walls is fake, but for the life of me, I can't remember exactly which one it is. And I can't even remember how you discover which one it is, but one of these walls is fake. And we just sort of need to go around in a circle until we find it. So, I think to that end, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and just check on some of these other walls. Just in case I skated over it. Oh, fuck off! I am not fighting you punks again! Nor you! Oi! Go away. Come on, die, die, die. Why are you not dead? Oh, and I dinged. Great! And I can use Lord Arvin's sword, which is even better than this one. Which would be nice, because these guys are taking a few hits to kill. Even with all my abilities and upgrades and shit. Are they still chasing me? No, they're on standby mode. Um, loot? Loot. Right, let's level up. Okay, so we've leveled up and saved. Now, back to hunting for this wall. Is it this one? No. I'm just assuming you have to hit it, because that seems like the most obvious solution. Hmm. There may be some several series of cuts at this point while I flail at walls trying to hit the thing. Oh, is it this? Ah! Alright, let's deal with these curves and then we'll be off. So we've got Lord Arvin's sword now, which does... I think even in terms of uh, magic and melee damage, so it's a good thing we are sort of specking to both. It's quite an evil giggle. Good heavens. Ah. So yes, we found it in the end, and now we have unlocked the door. Now, my question, what is un behind that door? Because if we are at the point where I think we are, like, then I've completely forgotten something along the way, and basically, like, my, my headcanon for how this game progresses is, is, is missing a chunk. Um, and we may be about to experience my favourite song in the entire game. Maybe. Oh, do we... Can I help you? Mm, not yet. Thank you. Is there another one we need to pull? Oh yeah, there is. There's a second one. Alright, so we're looking for another stone. Ah, I see it. I see it right there. Can you see it too, boys and girls? Mm, not yet. I would certainly hope so. It's right there. Clear as day. What? I just killed you! Fucking hell! Well, I mean, points for persistency, but Jesus, learn when to quit! There. Okay. Second lever. I'm glad to see your eternity in this maze prove to be as short-lived as mine. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't quite so backhanded. Thank you. Maybe she is beginning to like us. Talana, that was her name. <laughs> it took me a moment there, Talana. Yes, that's that's the name of the crazy lady inside my head. Ah, no. Okay, yes, good, right. Yes, this is where I remember it being. We are still on the same path as my brain calls was telling me. Okay. It's just the sudden appearance of Sasan threw me off. I thought, oh god, we this is further ahead than I thought. No, no, we're still inside the Temple of Maxos. Um, she's warning us about a tower. Seems a bit out of place. We're not in a tower. You have made it down, but to no avail, as you now dwell among the cursed. Amducius the Proud I have bound here. Amducius must fall. Amducius. What is dragon against my will must be human by yours. If not, this is where the path of dragonhood ends.
Oh, there's a ghost. Uh. Okay, panning through the ghost. Is there going to be a creepy man sat in the chair? No. Okay, fine. Fine. There's a creepy man on the stool. And another one next to him. And another one. Is it just me, or does it look like they're all wearing gimp masks? Unbelievable. Look at it. And they've got D on their forehead. These are literal D heads. Uh, Damien won't be pleased. I know that. No need to remind me. He has to be here somewhere. Stop! Stop, you fools! Leave my library! Oh, they can't even see me. Because, of course, we can, because we've got Silver Eyes from being I a Dragon Slayer. I think Dragon Knights probably can hey, see them as well, but we're not Dragon Knight there? yet. Uh, oh. uh, pizza delivery! Damien won't be placed. An intruder? Let's kill him and keep the body parts for our... Aren't you intruders, process. though? Oh, Damien will be placed. Hat G. These guys hurt. Okay, right, he's dead. Next one. Next one. Hat G. You're dead. Oh, I was about to slice the ghost as well. Whew. Sorry about that. You know, get a bit, bit, bit. Wow. Okay, we knocked a book over. Did they not? Did they not drop anything? Not a sausage. Not a single solitary sausage. What do you got to say for yourself? This strange tome is filled, you assume, with the secrets to many wondrous magics. To your frustration, you must acknowledge this book is written in an alphabet you cannot read. Damn it! Why? Why am I illiterate? Why, why must it be so? Hello? Annoying creatures messing with my books. With D scrawled on their head in purple ink. An initiate who successfully ran the trials. It has been ages, literally. May have more to do with the fact that the temple is locked. Oh yes, Maxos impish take on crime and punishment. Impish Most is uh. Lord disloyal, it. you see, started to worship Lobis or Amtusias. Oh, I see. All were cursed. Lobis in his tower, Amdusius on the blood altar, and us, the followers, in between. <laughs> in between. I am looking for a book written by Maxos that describes his research about the Halls of Echoes. Straight to the a point. Most fascinating tome, I'm sure. But I've never had the honor of reading it myself. And you're the librarian? If it was in this library, I would know. But unless Maxos had it on him when he disappeared, it should still be in the temple, at least. Mm -hmm. Who knows where it may be hidden? Who may have gotten his hands or claws on it? Ah, right. So that's um, an insinuation as to who might have it. Tell me more about this Maxos curse. To understand, you must know that Maxos, for all his powers, was surprisingly naive in his assessments of human character. He figured all his dragon knights would naturally take on their role as fair but aloof rulers, not thinking of the ambitions men foster. Mm -hmm. Lord Lobis cared little for Maxos, but used his powers to live a life of luxury as he ruled with iron fist. Amdusius was consumed by rage yeah, it was. when his master decided he would never become a dragon and went out of his way to become one. Whatever the cost. And according to the book before we entered, Amdusia succeeded in becoming a dragon, and now Maxos wants us to undo his dragon ish self, I guess. Strip him of his wings, effectively. Hmm. That's fascinating. I must go now. Because you do drone. Why have you got a quest? Oh, God. Hello again, <sighs> I am the Lariat. 
That's shameless. And you don't have the one book I look I'm looking for. I seem to have misplaced one book though. The first uh -huh. part of the infamous Orbus Arceso. Oh, yes, that thing. Devious little piece of writing that. I haven't seen it since Is Ambrosius it became a dragon knight. A dragon knight. Come across it. I would reward you well. Mm, okay, so we're looking for a book now. We're looking for two books, in fact. Fascinating. Right, well, it looks like we're on um, librarian duty. We should have poisoned his wine, my brother. Who? Bribed one of his women. Okay. And have her murder him in his sleep. Who might they be talking about? Oh, there's another goose. God, there's so many of these you pale must fuckers. Wish to die young, lingering here, mortal. Um, I have no such wish, I assure you. Many have perished here, whether they wished it or not. Yes, I can see that. We were cursed by Maxos. Together yes, I know. The master, the Dragon Lord Lovis. Yes, I met his spirit. He told me in so many words he was cursed because of his weakness for wine and women. <laughs> wine and women are hard. Vices, are they? His deeds were of a very different order. Oh, do tell. His inebriation he derived from torture. His ecstasy from slaughter. Hmm. Oh, and I have a choice of agreeing with, well, either party, I guess. Lovis was a tyrant, and we his meek subjects. For our failure to stand up to him, Maxos deemed us equally responsible. Ah, the old punishing the majority for the mistakes of the minority. That old tripe. We admired, then feared him, yes. But perhaps we were also cowards. Is there anything I can do to break this curse? There is. Find Lord Lovis' soul stone and smash it on the altar of blood. This will bind Lovis' ghost to his tower until the end of days and release us from our torment. Lord Lovis asked me to bring the soul stone to him, but I will reconsider. Thank you, mortal. You have made a just decision. Interesting. So, Lovis was lying to us. Uh, hello? Oh, fuck me. I don't know why I keep trying to do that. I can't. Yep, come on, die. Had enough of you. Well, that was easier than I expected. Maybe that's because I've leveled up and I've got this new sword and it's pretty damn boss. Lord Arban's sword. Oh, there's a sparkly diary. Benedict's diary. We won't read it immediately because I'm not sure... Oh, and there's a key. I'm not sure what the significance of it is. But yes, Lovis was lying to us. Apparently he was not a nice chap at all. He was not just simply a womanizer and a and um a lecherous drinker. He was more than that. Uh were I don't feel like I should have been able to do that. Um I'm I I'll I'll come back. I'll come back. <sighs> what the fuck? I oh, covered someone's secret sex chamber. Why is everyone obsessed with ch sex chambers these days? Oh my god. Holy shit, look at this dude. Been impaled. This must be the corporeal remains of all the ghosts. They were murdered in their beds. Holy shit. Poor buggers. Is there someone floating around here? Any ghosts around here? No, but there's a chest. And it's locked. And it cannot be locked. Uh, cannot be opened through lock picking. Son of a bitch! Oh god, am I gonna have to speak to all of these ghosts to find out what's going on? Hello? Adados? Adarius? Francis? Francis. There's a barrier this way. Hmm. Should I read Benedict's diary now, perhaps? This is the diary of Benedict. A fierce supporter of Amdusius' rise to power. 
Hmm. He goes on and on about how Maxos is too weak, and how men as ambitious as Amducius should have every opportunity to become dragons. He despises <laughs> a certain Fendril, who lectures other priests about the dangers of defying Maxos, but he's confident this little weasel will be dealt with soon enough. Fendril. Didn't we try to speak to a Fendril? Go look at them, they're like having a fucking party. Are you Fendril? You're Francis. Go away, Francis. That's Adabam. Or Adab Adalabam. Adados. Fendril. So Amducius didn't take no for an answer and defied Maxos, and Lovis himself was a tyrant. Wow, yeah, he really did have the pick of the crop there, didn't he? Should we see what's at the end of this corridor that these ghosts keep hanging around? Let's just have a poke through here. It's a little bit red. It's a little bit ominous. Hmm. Ma Hello? Um. Ooh. That's the blood altar, I guess. And that must be Anducius. It doesn't really... Yep. To disturb the peace in my temple. You don't really look like a dragon, do you? You look like you fucked up somewhere. I'm the first new face you see in centuries, and this is how you greet me. You are unwelcome, human. As are all that stink of his magic. I love this. <laughs> Maxos magic, you mean? Utter that name. How dare you speak of that fool? Once I figure out how to switch to human form at will, I will rule the valley. So Amducius is stuck as a pseudo-dragon or whatever. Until that time, my armor lies safe at least. No one would suspect my password is Lovis. <laughs> what, the name of your arch nemesis? No, not at all. <laughs> how dare you speak of that fool in here? Who? Maxos? You defy me. The nerve you show, Laos. Maxos! Die and rot, <laughs> insolent one. Uh, I'm just gonna sort of back away. Amducius will fiercely defend the altar. But I have the feeling you'll have to Ow. break his attacks until we find another way to deal with him. Okay, he's just pepping away at the door there. Right. So we need a way of dealing with Amducius. 